Louisiana Beer Reviews, Eel River Porter, certified organic. From California, 5.8% alcohol, Northern California by the way. Uh, this was introduced, I don't know when, but it's been at least since 2003 because that was the year that it was added to Beer Advocate's site for review. Um, you can see it says certified organic. <clears throat> Bought this at the Red, White and Brew, Ham in Louisiana. Got one more beer left from there. Generally don't go there because it's kind of expensive. And I find they don't rotate their stuff, although a lot of stores are guilty of that, I have to be fair. Don't see any smoke. Uh, the ratings are pretty good. Um, no head. <laughs> this is pouring out like uh, Coke. Coca-Cola, but with less fizz. I don't know, that doesn't look right. So the appearance is not too uh, good as far as the uh, head. Um, it made no kind of hiss. It says here, uh, I don't know, there's some numbers, but then there's no kind of sense to those numbers. So I really don't know if this beer is old or it was made two months ago. Okay, well, let's examine it. It has a thin little bit of foam, Coca-Cola like foam, little, little uh, beige, I guess. The appearance is, uh, dark, well, it's opaque, not so dark, because it's kind of a rust brown, rusty brown or a reddish brown with that light coming at me. Sunlight's right there. You can't really see that from your direction. I see um, oh, some little particles in there, mostly just bubbles clinging to the side. Now, with the light shining through, I see a lot of little fine particles, so it does have some particular matter. Uh, let's get to the aroma. <coughs> oh, uh, the scores on this. Um, oh, 19 international bitterness units. They have five malts also used in this beer. They didn't say a thing about the hops on the website. Gets a good score on Beer Advocate. Bros haven't looked at it. 89 out of 100 on Rapier. 87 out of 100 for the style. And an excellent score on the beer in me. So the lowest it's getting on average is good and actually much higher than that with some other sites. It's a rich dark roasted barley malt or medium to dark roasted barley malt. Some chocolatey notes and a little hint of coffee just like they said on the website. Now, um, so it's a rich aroma. The flavor. All of those things I've described with some um, powderiness. It is making a little crackle though. Weird. Um, there might be a, a touch of veg vegetable or as some people in New Orleans say, vegetable flavor. Now, one porter I had that people's porter had just a very strong celery flavor. This is not strong like that, but it's there. It's probably coming from the hops, I think. Slightly bitter, but very slightly bitter. The mouthfeel is medium. Light to medium, but more toward medium. And um, the finish is mostly dry. Certainly a dry beer. And, um, It's um, pretty easy going and um, mellow. You don't really pick up the 5.8%. I wouldn't think it was this high if I was just uh, unaware of that. Um, there's a little bit of creaminess in there also. So aside from the odd appearance, and I guess that's a detractor, but uh, no, no lacing to speak of. So aside from that strangeness, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna say A minus because it is, it does have an excellent aroma, mouthfeel, finish, flavor, all of those things. 
it's just the appearance that's a little off. Otherwise, I'd say, well, it's a lot off the appearance, but otherwise, I'd say it'd be a solid A. But um, if you don't mind how beers look, really, you probably say it was a solid, excellent, a solid, most excellent score. So, Lazy Le Bon Tarmoule, this is a very good, a very good, or most excellent and peculiar porter. And it could be the organic nature of it doing that. I don't know. From California. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to sunny today in 68 degrees, southeastern Louisiana.